Hello, Night Vale. This is Steve Carlsberg here. I am coming to you live from inside the Night Vale Community Radio recording booth. I do not recall how or when I entered the Community Radio recording booth. I am not sure if I'm even allowed to be inside the Community Radio recording booth. But seeing as this is a community radio, and I am a part of the community, whether you like it or not, I am not going to vacate it. Mostly because there is something screeching outside the building, and I am terrified. Now, as you know, the radio began broadcasting dead air about two hours ago, and through my scientific prowess and observation, I now know why. The entire radio building is completely empty. The only other soul I could find was a demonic cat in the men's washroom. Which is no comfort, because cats are merely government recording devices with fur. Which you sheeple would realize if you weren't in love with them. Ugh. Anyways, it appears there was a major accident here. There are claw marks across the floor. Every window is shattered, and the walls are seeping with blood. Also, a wet floor sign has fallen over, which is a safety hazard. Someone could slip on this blood and get hurt. Very irresponsible. Now, I'm not sure where Cecil or the interns have gone, or if this has anything to do with the second opening of the... D <clears throat> Ahem, the second opening of the... <coughs> <coughs> Listeners, I'm afraid I actually cannot say my suspicions on their disappearance. However, I am going to type them and post them to my blog, which I'm sure you all follow. Let's see here. Second opening of... <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid as soon as I began typing, my fingers began to sprout blood-covered razor blades from the tips. I am not sure why this would happen, as I have no medical history of ever having grown claws. However, I am in great pain. But I will continue. Listeners, listeners... I am aware we are lacking the deep, lovely tones of our ever-present and much-adored Cecil more than anyone. He has been the soul of our little town as long as we can remember, and the focus of our radio dials, as the only other station appears to be the numbers channel. You may have feelings about this time without him. Many feelings, some that may be okay, and some like the Wi-Fi capability here at the station. I know for certain that I do. However, I must urge you to push past these feelings of longing, or sadness, or relief, or fear, or elation, or elasticity, or plastic bagness, or hatred of France, or unrequited love and passion. We must move on from these, for they are merely a creation of an obvious but seemingly harmless government agency to manifest their own desires in us. We must ignore these artificial little monsters that try to control us from the inside, and we must find our Cecil. Listeners, if you can hear me, and I don't know if you can because this microphone apparently isn't connected to anything... But if you happen to be able to, I promise that I will not leave you. I am going to stay in this radio booth and on the air. I will entertain and distract you from the void inside your mind, from the secrets you do not know that you should not know, and the secrets you know you don't know, but that you know you secretly know, from forbidden knowledge and nefarious biddings. From your very existence. For that is what Cecil did. For that is why the government installed these radios all over our town. I will do this for you, Night Vale. I will try to bring a smile to the faces of the residents. 
amid all the sick and twisted events that you must all pretend not to notice. I will put the humorous spin on the propaganda and messages I will be forced to read by the government, like saying they were sponsored by Red Lobster. I, Steve Carlsberg, will do this for you, Night Vale, and I, again, Steve Carlsberg, will not ask for recognition, or thanks, or even to be liked, just a little. I will keep you until we have our host back, and are able to return to the abnormal normalcy we reside in. And now, as Cecil always said, the weather. Tomorrow appears to be partly cloudy, with a 20% chance of rain and some light humidity. The high is 78, and the lows are 62. Wednesday, there appears to be a chance for a blood shower, so I recommend staying indoors with the proper protective gear until the warnings have passed. Thursday is not even listed on the forecast, so I can't say what will happen. And I have to note that, contrary to popular opinion, you cannot actually cancel a weekday. Friday is listed as Eternal Darkness, and has a little horrifying monster drawn on it, coming out of a swirling vortex, so whatever that means, that's what's happening on Friday. Stay tuned at 6.45 for our 10-day outlook. Now, considering there was a CD here with the weather written on it, I guess I'll just be playing that next. I'm not sure if that's the band, or the song, but it seems appropriate. As we wait on our regularly scheduled host, please enjoy the sweet sounds of something called The Weather. <laughs> 